Good evening, ladies and gents. This is Tennyson E. Stead, the writer and director of Quantum Theory, coming to you now with a new eight-sided blog. And today, I'd like to talk about something that's come up in my personal life in the conversations that I have with people who, you know, because of the brain injury, because of the other things that are happening in my life, encourage me to think very seriously about um, leaving Los Angeles, working on this community from outside LA, or, or, or leaving my career behind for a time, putting things on hold, and then coming back when I'm in better medical shape. And in general, the response, and this, this by the way, this point applies to a much, much wider range of situations than just my own, it's just an issue that's come up because of this stuff. And basically the conversation I keep having with people is that to invest in a community, you actually have to be there. You understand? You, you, you have to be surrounded by the people who may or may not need your help. You have to be paying attention to all the little things that are going on, you know, not just with the audience on Twitter and Facebook, but with your collaborators and, <clears throat> you know, with the people that you interact with every day. You have, to, you have to make a point to interact with people every day if you're going to be a part of their lives, if you're going to be dependable for them, and if you're going to be somebody they rely on, you need to, you need to be present. That's the first, most basic step. And, you know, the response that I get to these kinds of comments is, well, yes, and today it's acceptable to make a smaller, more conservative investment in, in that community. It's, it's acceptable to just put some blogs out on YouTube. It's acceptable to just be present on Facebook and Twitter and work remotely. And it is. It's absolutely acceptable. If I was to scale back my investment in my entertainment career and work from a place of <clears throat> sort of presenting the image of somebody who's, who's there to help and keeping the actual sort of moment to moment help on hold until I felt better, nobody would tell me I was doing anything wrong. Nobody would tell me I was sacrificing my career you know, and at the same time, my community wouldn't be growing the way that it should. People wouldn't be depending on me the way that they need to if I'm going to be a leader to the degree that a movie like Quantum Theory requires me to be, okay? So where's the disconnect? Why aren't people understanding that point? And it comes down to basically whether or not we're investing in anything, a career, a choice in life, whether we're investing in a life choice, to say that we did and to have other people say we tried, right? To, to, to have the impression that we made the effort and to have other people recognize us for that. Or are we investing in a life choice to actually get the job done? Are we investing in a life choice in this case to make not just a movie, but to build a community and have an impact on the culture, to build a better Hollywood and a more sustainable Hollywood. That's my reason for being here. I'm absolutely here to make sure that quantum theory hits theaters and that we have the kind of successful box office that ensures that it's a little bit easier for us to make Man and Machine. And then we go ahead and we make Smash Girl with America Young. And then we make you know, and then we make Changeling Love Story, and then we take, <clears throat> excuse me, a brief step back. We look at season two. And then we make four more movies, which will be more expensive, and hopefully we'll sell a lot more tickets to them. You know, and our, our community will grow in the face of that. And the fact that our community is growing means that the values that we bring to that community and the level of specificity that we put into our artwork starts to have impact on a wider range of people. More and more people get brought into conversations that encourage us all to regard each other as specific individuals and not just as archetypes. You know, we, we start to have a broader and broader impact on the culture and we do it by sharing the things that we're excellent at and that fulfill us with rooms full of people one at a time, you know, or multi, or in, you know, in the case of film, you know, a, a lot of rooms all at the same time, you know, but, 
but that's the that's the job that's the thing that we're here to do and if you know if at any point we start thinking in terms of well we can get away with this well we people won't blame us if we do things this way and it's going to be a lot easier to do things that way if that becomes the goal there's no way you can achieve something as big as what we're trying to achieve and if we stay focused on sustainability if we stay focused on making decisions that promote the long-term success of the company and our productions rather than just skating by and not getting blamed for their failure if we stay focused on actually cultivating their success then ultimately everything we do is building a, a better future for everyone everything we do is having an impact on not just the audience that we have today, but even the people who will come, you know, to our work later. And <clears throat> frankly, that's where that's where our demand for excellence comes from, is the understanding that the things we do today are going to have an impact on future audience members. We don't want people coming in in 10 years or 15 years into this community that we've built and looking, you know, at our beginnings as embarrassingly humble we want them to come in and look and say oh well I can see you know how this happened <laughs> I can see how these people who were doing this way back when came and did this now and I, you know I, and that sets an example for them you see what I'm saying that shows them a way to accomplish their own goals it shows them a path forward built on taking your responsibility seriously and on embracing the challenges in front of you instead of hiding from them and on making change within yourself demand for excellence within yourself and the betterment of your habits the foundation for everything that you hold in your ambitions and the in the goals that you have so so I just wanted to get off that my chest because it's a conversation I keep I keep having. It's not you don't go looking for the solutions to problems that other people will accept from you. And certainly if you have any hope of succeeding in the entertainment industry, don't don't do that. Not even not even your agent or your manager. Stay focused on the solutions that cultivate the future you need to see. Stay focused on doing the things that build that future and that provide a foundation for everything that you think should be to come. And in time, you will find success. In time, other people will rely on you for those foundations. You know, whereas if you just do what's acceptable. <clears throat> What can people depend on you for? You know, what is there? What do you have to offer at that point? You know, you're just slipping by under other people's standards. You're not bringing anything to the industry. <sighs> and I refuse to be that person. And I encourage, certainly the people I work with refuse to be that person. That's part of what makes our community as strong as it is, is that I can depend on everybody I work with to not just ask themselves, not even my standards, not even what will Tenny accept from me, but what is going to provide the best foundation for all the things that I think should be happening and aren't. And that's a, that's a, that's a core ethic of our company, I think, that's gone unspoken for a long time, and I just wanted to put it out there. Thank you very much uh, for listening, and have your, so this is the, oh, give us a like. Here we are in YouTube, right? So give us a like if you if you like the video. Give us a subscribe to the Eight Sided Films channel. We have a lot of uh, new science fiction content coming out over the course of the next year. We have a web series called Declassified. We'll be launching the first season in 2017. So give us a subscribe and follow us. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening. Take care. Bye bye.